it isn't often that a local eatery becomes famous mainly for featuring a locally made product. But that's the case for Jones Cafe in downtown Clayton. Bob Garner was there recently and has more in tonight's house special. You know, there's just something soul satisfying about being in a place that's been in business since 1958. Jones Cafe, which was known until very recently simply as Jones Lunch, moved to a new location on Clayton's Main Street in 1984. But it looks now much like it did when it reopened. Burr Jones and his wife Crystal are the third generation of Joneses to run the place. Burr's grandfather, William, was the founder, and his father, Curtis, followed for several decades. I guess it's uh, probably the friendly atmosphere, uh, the consistency of the food, and having good food. That's what I was saying. And a lot of these people have, have been coming here since they were little. You just get that old feel. It, you can tell nothing's changed in here. And food's great, service is, is very quick, and I mean, the meals are simple. All the people I known over the years. I started eating hot dogs here about 1962. My dad had a business next door where the vacant lot is and hot dogs were drink with a nickel and hot dogs were a nickel and a fry with 10 cents I believe. Yes, the big drawing card at Jones Cafe is still red bright leaf hot dogs from Carolina Packers in nearby Smithfield. This is done all the way with mustard, onions and chili plus slaw, which is the way that I like it. One of the secrets is simmering the hot dogs in a mixture of different cooking oils plus a little water. Oh, and the balance between the slaw and the chili and the mustard and the onions and the bite of the hot dog itself, oh, I'm telling you, that's heaven. Now the hot dog is so good, it's inspired me to explore a little further into another Brightly product. This is the fried bologna or bologna sandwich with uh, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. Doesn't that look good? Mm. Mm. You know, you see a lot of fried bologna up in the Piedmont because that's where the descendants of the original German settlers live and they love their bologna, fried or otherwise. But of course, the folks who eat at Jones live right down the road from where the bologna is made. So why wouldn't you get into that? Oh, that's just so nice and firm and chewy. I guess it's because of the famous hot dogs that I come. But today was the first day ever that I've ordered anything other than a hot dog because I'd had hot dogs a couple of days ago and I had a hamburger and it was delicious. Boy, that's messy, but uh, it has pickles, it has mayonnaise, it has chili, and uh, probably a few other things. Looks great. Mm. Now see, the key to that was asking the guy who was going to fix the burger how I should get it. He recommended these particular toppings, and even though I can't even remember what they are, just come in and ask the cook how you should get your cheeseburger. They sell a lot of those. Will Burr and Crystal's son Colin be the fourth generation to run the place someday? Who knows, but Colin does appreciate his parents being involved. Well, I mean, it's been great, you know, to see the business, you know, continue on to another generation through the family and for it to stay alive and be such a trademark, you know, to the Clayton area, it's been great. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Bob Garner. Jones Cafe is at 415 East Main Street in Clayton, and they're open for breakfast and lunch Monday through Saturday, and they're also open from 5 to 8 p.m. on Thursday. It's closed on Sunday. For more information, give them a call at 919-553-7528, and you can find them on Facebook.